President Joe Biden meets with black essential workers who have played key roles in helping the nation battle the coronavirus pandemic. And he is remembering the half a million American lives lost as the White House works with COVID-19 vaccine makers trying to ramp up production. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. First, we're learning tonight that President Joe Biden will visit Houston, Texas this coming Friday to get an up-close look at the relief efforts taking place there after that terrible storm. Now, today, President Biden spoke with black essential workers about vaccinations and the American Rescue Plan. We have Melanie Owens, a pharmacist in Chicago. President Joe Biden thanks black essential workers for their contributions during the coronavirus pandemic. You all are, uh, um, you're, you're basically holding the country together. I'm not being facetious. I'm being deadly earnest. The president knows well the dangers people of color have faced. And many of our employees, you know, they put themselves on the front lines. I really appreciate you and your colleagues uh, across the country who are continuing to push and say, no, if you can get a vaccine, get it. If you can get it, get it as quickly as you can. Meanwhile, the major COVID-19 vaccine producers are trying to meet more demand. The White House press secretary today told reporters. Our COVID coordinator, Jeff Zients, announced the fifth consecutive week of supply increases. States will now receive 14.5 million doses uh, this week, up from 8.6 million doses per week when the president took office. In addition to ramping up production is ramping up confidence. An Associated Press NORC poll reveals about one in three Americans say they definitely or probably will not roll up their sleeve for a shot. And if you are fully vaccinated and cross paths with another fully vaccinated person. Common sense tells you that in fact you don't have to be as stringent in your public health measures. But what we want we want to get firm recommendations from the CDC, which I believe will be coming soon. And for those whom the vaccine arrived too late to help. We have to resist becoming numb to the sorrow. We must do so to honor the dead. But equally important, care for the living, those who left behind. Adding to the list of vaccines, the government is expected to give the green light the go-ahead to Johnson & Johnson's single-dose vaccine as early as this weekend. Now, the pro-life group, the Charlotte Lozier Institute, says it's made from an abortion-derived cell line. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.